Hey, this is Alex from Graysand. In this video, I'll show you how I integrated an industrial water chiller with a magic transfer pump to retrofit my outdoor bath to be a multi-function tub for cold plunges and hot soaks. My friend Cole the plumber basically does all the work connecting the inline suction pump and all the insulated copper plumbing to the water chiller while I film him work and ask annoying questions. Pump and uh, yeah, what is that thing? So it's not an inline pump, it's a different type. Yeah. We're making that little gasket. Yeah. What's that one we hooked up over for the water? Um, With the flick of a switch, I can now cycle ice water from the bath through the water chiller and back into the bath using a suction pump circulation system. Continue watching the rest of this video to see how we connected the water chiller and transfer pump to make a DIY cold water plunge. The first step was to find a place for the water chiller to sit. The only place I could find suitable was under my house, but in the way was an old set of stairs I needed to first demolish and remove to make space for the water chiller. The supply informed me that it needed to sit level and to be under cover within 4 metres of the bath. The water chiller is a one horsepower unit I bought second hand from a beer brewing company in Queensland for $500. I think to buy the chiller new is around $1500. As this project was a bit of an experiment for me, I didn't know whether it was going to work or not. Once I'd made space for the water chiller, I built a simple level timber platform for it to sit on. I had no idea how to connect the water chiller to the bath, so I spoke with Cole and he came up with a smart design to circulate the water from the bath through the water chiller and back into the bath using a transfer pump. So that's the pump, the type of pump we run in there. So what do you say, it's not an inline pump, it's a different type? Yeah, so it's not a multi-stage pump, it's a transfer pump. So what's the difference between a transfer and a multi-stage? So a multi-stage, a multi-stage pump will cut off once it basically turn off the water supply um, so it would continually run whereas this will just continually run once you turn it on it won't cut in and out. And what's that one we hooked up over for the water? Um, house water? Ah uh, that'd be a multi-stage. Yeah okay. Yeah. So yeah it has the box on top. Yeah. That's so like it's that's what sends like you'll go okay we've lost our water supply it'll go to, it's cut off to where it's kind of Stopping is the way I, best way I can describe it. Like you turn the tap off and it'll register that, whereas this will just keep pumping. So this will have because you got this because it's a suction rather than a water feeding it and then like that's still suctioning. But... I don't know, it still sounds confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what is that thing? You can change the pressure. That's inside. cool. Yeah. Yeah, right. So that'll that'll take us down to that um, 30 litres a minute. Okay, so that what controls how much um, pressure comes out of the pump. Mm. Yep. Yeah. So that's your priming, your pump primer. So oh yeah. To get your water through and start, so it's not running dry. Oh yeah. That is the control unit for your pump. Oh okay. It's got like a. The control unit is just your power. Yeah. Rather than the actual control. So it's got like a computer in that other one kind of thing. Yeah. This will be a suction line. That'll be what you see on the inside. Yes, yeah, sweet. Like and then the water will suck out, go through your pump, through your chiller, 
push back around and just beside it there'll be a half inch feed and that'll push back in into your water so it's just constantly cycling. Yeah, so it can, yeah, all right. So it's sort of like, what you'll see on the inside is like that. So it'll pump out yeah, of this sweet. and then suck back in that way. Yeah. Back in nuts, you have a rubber ring either side, which will seal it over yeah. the cast iron. Cool. It sucks from here. At the top, so the hot, warmer water at the top sucks it down to the, um, down, to the down to the cooler. Yeah, pushes through the cooler. Push the cooler. around and then you can shoot. The, the supply can pretty much go in here. Gasket. This 25 is because because it's a, it is a suction, not a pressurized system. So if it was a pressurized system, oh, you don't need with mains water coming in. Mm. It will get that amount of water. Oh, she, yeah, yeah. So this has got to actually suck. That's yeah. interesting, yeah, it's sucking it through. So it's yeah. a totally different kind of type of pump. Yeah. yeah. Or well, it's still a rainwater pump. Yeah. But it has a mains backup on your yeah. on your regular pump. Um, and a lot more head at the top of it. So you can imagine, you know, if you've got 20 kPa of head just there, essentially in your tank, that's got to push down and that'll have pressure to push into the back of your tap water. Whereas this is just, just purely suck. Yeah, that's interesting, yeah. Yeah. So you want to have like probably at least that much. Yeah, and like get it, yeah, get it high. high, yeah. Oh, that's connected. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. You run out of water, mate. You've run out of water. Okay, so I've got all the plumbing hooked up for the whole water plunge. The water's going to get sucked out of this top inlet. It's a one inch, 25 millimeter um, entry, and that'll go through the inflated pipe down into the ice chiller. Then it will get pumped through the suction pump back around the half inch insulated pipe and then it will pump cold water into the bottom of the bath because warm water rises so it will suck the warm water from the top of the bath 
and then pump in the ice chilled water towards the bottom and I'm hoping this is going to create a cold water plunge and I've had the ice chiller on for almost 24 hours now so I can switch on the pump and then start circulating the water from the bath through the ice chiller and then back in the bath for an hour or two and I'm hoping this is going to bring the water temperature right down. I'm hoping to have the water chiller continuously connected and then whenever I want to come and have a cold water plunge I can just come out, turn on the pump, circulate the water through the bath and bring the water down to hopefully around 2 or 3 degrees but it's just a bit of an experiment so we'll see how it goes. Put the thermometer in here now and test the temperature again. So I'm just going to turn on the pump now and see how that goes. So now that is the pump operating. So it should be circulating the water. Quite a bit of suction coming through there. And then, yes, yeah, so that's pumping out. Oh, that water's freezing now. Under 13 degrees in two minutes. Nice. Oh, see, if I put it in front of the outlet, the water, as you can see, is coming out. Look, at that's definitely cold water coming down. Yeah? You, you feel me. Okay, I'm filming you. You're in the film too. Testing out the cold plunge. We had the pump running for a couple of hours and we got the temperature down to... 38 Fahrenheit or we're down to about 3 degrees Celsius. Just turned off the pump. Be careful, it's gonna get wet. Stand back. Yeah, so the cold, cold bath's working well. Okay. The cold water circulates from the bath through the water chiller, then back into the bath. Okay. It's well. nice and cold. The cold plunge system that we installed works great. Thanks to Kyle the plumber for connecting it all for me. As I already had the outdoor bath and we had no room for a chest freezer, this ended up being the best solution for me to create a cold plunge. I've now been using the cold plunge daily for the last few months and it's always a pretty horrible experience getting into the tub but I always feel 100% better after I get out. I think the chest freezer would still be the easiest and cheapest option if you have space to store one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.